Hey guys, I'm Robert Kennedy the third RK3, that's me, but you probably already knew that because you're here on my channel. <laughs> Listen, I'm a leadership and communication expert. I work with business leaders, helping them to share their messages with confidence, clarity, and credibility. I wanted to share something with you today because you, if you're like me, you've got a busy life. You've got things that are scheduled all the time. You've got Maybe you've got kids like I do, and they've got all sorts of activities. And then you've got your business that you've got to deal with, or your job, or church, or, or, your, or your marriage, or other, whatever relationships you have. There are a lot of things that you've got to keep in order, a lot of possibilities for distraction. And the goals and ideas that you have, sometimes it becomes hard to focus on them because you've got so many things competing for your attention. Well, I've gone through that and I still go through that. And so one of the things I decided to do was take control. I decided that I wasn't just going to allow my life to move along at whatever pace it felt like. I was going to take control and create a better plan for myself. So one of the ways that I did that over the course of this year was to get back to the idea of journaling and creating a written plan, a written out plan for myself. I found this great company called Best Self, right? I call, they're called Best Self. I don't know if you can see this, but there's this journal that I, I got from them earlier this year, and it, it breaks things down into a 12 to 13 week sprint. Now, let me go through it really quickly. I'll just, I'll just share with you a few of the reasons why I like it. Number one, it asks you to break down three result goals right at the beginning. What is a result goal? A goal is a result goal is the ultimate result that you want, not the steps that are involved or anything of that nature. So generate X amount of dollars, generate $100,000 in speaking or training revenue. Okay, that's a result goal. Then it asks me to break down progress goals beneath that and the actions and tasks that I've got to take in order to reach that result goal. Then it asks me to sign my commitment to myself. What are the things that I will achieve or how will my life improve by meeting this goal? And what's the reward that I get to give to myself? And then I sign it and date it, of course. After that, it's got a breakdown of habits. So not the actions that you're going to take to move toward the goal, but what are the habits that you're going to implement? In my case, I've got things like exercise, meditation, reading, writing, and my goal numbers and how many times I'm doing those things. And those things really help me get in the frame of mind for just executing my, my activities. Now, the next thing that it, it's got is the daily sections. And there's some things that I do daily. First thing, when I wake up in the morning, I my planning is, is, is a part of my morning ritual. So I've got my daily schedule that I've written out here and I try to keep everything. I make it zero based. So there are no gaps. So if I have breaks, I write those in as well. And if there are other notes that I want to put down ideas, things that I think about during the day, I put those there underneath that three things I'm grateful for three things I'm grateful for the next side is my goal that I'm after, top three targets that I'm after for that day. What will make today a win for me? What are, what are the three things that will happen that will make today a win for me? And then any at the end of the day, I sit down, lessons learned or any wins that I've achieved that day. And then three things that I'm grateful for at the end of the day. So that gr gratitude sandwich, right? Bookending your day with, with gratitude. And so I go ahead and I do this every day and this is a great practice for me and it helps me to just keep focused and locked in to the to the goal at hand and sometimes you get distracted sometimes you get discouraged or things aren't perfect but what i like about this is that every day it's got a little quote here so life can be pulled by goals just as surely as it can be pushed by drives you can do anything but not everything isn't that isn't that great Setting goals is the first step in turning the vis invisible into visible. Tony Robbins. Okay, that, that's, that's awesome. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. So I'm being inspired every day as I set myself up for success. Now, 
here's what I want you to do. I don't want you just to watch this and say, that's nice, Robert. I want you to move yourself and create impact in the world as well. So right below this video, you'll see a link that you can purchase your own best self journal as well. And you can take part, you can go along on this journey with me. If you want to find out more about it or you want to speak about it, feel free to join me in the Speak Right Now community. I'll share that information in the, in the description as well below. And I also want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and do that. I will talk a lot about leadership and communication skills. I will talk about presentation, how to speak and communicate more effectively with confidence, clarity, and credibility. I'll speak about those types of things, but as I'm doing today, I'll share with you some of the resources and tools that I use for success in my business also. Okay, that's it from me, RK3. Go ahead and subscribe as I mentioned. Check out the links in the description below and I'll see you on the next video.